Lesson 3.1, Count Equal Groups. We're in a new chapter all about how to understand multiplication. We can use equal groups to find how many in all. Equal groups have the same number of objects in each group. So our pink circles are the groups and our blue gems inside are the objects in each group. There are four equal groups of three gems. We can skip count by threes to find how many in all. We skip count by how many are in each group. There's three in each group, so we're going to skip count by threes. We have three, six, nine, twelve. There are twelve gems in all. We can count equal groups to find a total. Bob has five toy cars. Each car has four wheels. How many wheels are there in all? Well, there's five groups with four wheels in each group. We have one car, two, three, four, five cars, and there's four wheels on each car. So we have five groups with four in each group. We skip count by fours. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty. So there are twenty wheels in all on his five cars. Now, I have a message for parents at the end of this video about how this is set up. So it's really important that you watch that so you'll understand for future lessons. Lisa, Chris, and Tim each have five pennies. How many pennies do they have in all? Well, we have three equal groups because we have three people. One, two, three. They each have five pennies, so we have three equal groups of five pennies. There are three fives, and we can skip count by fives. Here's Lisa's pennies, Chris's pennies, Tim's pennies. They each have five pennies. We skip count 5, 10, 15. So there's 15 pennies in all. We can skip count to find how many in all. Here we have four groups of two. They each have two. So we have four twos. We skip count by twos. Two, four, six, eight. So there's eight gems. What if we had two groups of four gems? Would our answer change? Here we have two groups of four. There are two fours. We skip count by fours this time. Four, eight. There are eight gems. Here we have four groups of two. Here we have two groups of four. Four groups of two, two groups of four. Four times two is equal to eight, and two times four is equal to eight. So the answer stays the same. If we take our little red boxes here, and we make it like four groups of two, like this one, and we turn it sideways to be two groups of four, the number of boxes didn't change. It stayed the same. We still have eight little boxes. So it doesn't matter if we have four groups of two or two groups of four, our answer is gonna stay the same. We can multiply in any order and get the same answer. The way we group them will change, but the answer will stay the same. Lisa, Chris, and Tim have toy cars. Each car has four wheels. How many wheels do their cars have all together? So what do we need to find? Well, we need to find how many wheels in all and what information will we use from this bar graph? Well, the total number of cars will be our equal groups. So here's our title, Toy Cars, 
It's showing their names, Lisa, Chris, and Tim. Lisa's green, and we can see she's got two cars. Chris is the blue one. He's got three cars. Tim is the yellow. He's only got one car. We can add two plus three plus one to get the total number of cars, which is six. That means we have six equal groups, and they each have four wheels. We have six equal groups of four. So there are six groups of four. Here's the six cars, one, two, three, four, five, six, and they each have four wheels. So there are six fours. We can skip count four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. So there's 24 wheels all together. So here's my message for parents. If you're following along in the Go Math book for the activity on page 101 of the grade three Go Math book, it lets you count equal groups below the group. They're just trying to show skip counting in a sentence format by going horizontally, four, eight, 12. And they're showing the equal groups this way, so they're circled this way. Well, this can cause confusion for lesson 3.5 when we learn about rows, columns, and arrays. The best way to do it is to have our equal groups on the side here. That's one group, that's another group, that's another group. We have three equal groups, and we can count how many are in each group. Then we skip count going down, four, eight, 12. This array shows three times four is equal to 12. The first number, the pink one, is the equal groups. That's the rows. The blue number, the second number, is how many are in each group. That's the columns, and that's what we skip count by. And then, of course, the 12 would be the product. So this is going to cause confusion in this particular lesson and for the next one, 3.2. So I wanted to point out they're just trying to show skip counting in a sentence format. But when we get to a couple lessons from now, this whole thing is going to flip. So right now, they've got it going this way. We've got one, two, three groups, and there's four coming down in each one. But we can actually just turn this to match this multiplication sentence, now it's three times four. So I know this is confusing. I just thought I'd throw that in to clear up any doubts. I know math can be confusing if everything isn't explained. So now you should know how to count equal groups. You circle the equal groups, and you can skip count by how many are in each group. I hope you're going to have a great day, and I'll see you for the next lesson. Bye.